Over time, effective control documents may need to be updated and revised. When modifications are required to be made on an effective document, SOP Connect provides a simple user interface and intuitive workflow to automate the change process. Today, Jane, a member of the Document Management Group, wishes to make some minor amendments to an existing standard operating procedure. To locate the document in question, she will navigate to the Effective Control Documents Library and search for the SOP that needs to be amended. Once the document has been located, Jane can begin the change process. When modifying controlled documents, it's important to do so in a controlled manner. To initiate this process, Jane opens the context menu for the document she needs to revise and then selects Document Change Request from the list. Jane is now prompted to fill out the Change Request form. This form gives Jane the opportunity to detail the reason for the revision and give brief details on the type of change she intends to make. You'll notice that information surrounding the document has been pre-populated by the system in the form to save Jane time. Once Jane has completed the document change request form and submits for approval, the request is sent to the department manager to decide whether the proposed change should go ahead. The department manager approves the request and the next phase of the workflow starts. Now that Jane has been granted approval to revise the SOP, SOP Connect creates a copy of the document and adds it to the draft library, increments the revision, and notifies Jane that her document is ready for editing. By clicking on the link in her notification, Microsoft Word opens and Jane can begin to go through her document and make the necessary updates as per her request. Once Jane has completed the modifications and updates, Jane saves her document and navigates back to the draft library. From here, Jane can initiate the document change control to capture the changes that were made to the SOP. The document change control form allows Jane to detail the summary of the changes that have been made to the document and add rationale to why the change was needed. The document change control also pre-populates and captures information that surrounds the document, like the title, document type, and business unit, so that the change control approver can understand the big picture. If the change to the document requires retraining, Jane can indicate this in the form. Jane can also specify who the reviewers and approvers will be on the revised document. Once the change control is submitted, the approver of the change control receives a task to review the document and approve, cancel or reject the document for a change. If the document change control is approved, the document is then routed into the review and approval workflow to make the document effective.